Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is very hot. I am going to be doing the Rory Gilmore reading challenge because I recently started watching Gilmore Girls. This is way too hot. Oh my gosh. And I am like halfway through season three and I'm loving it so much. This is my first time watching this TV show and I just, I love it. I love, I love Lorelai. I think a lot of people who start watching it, at least in their 20s, kind of identify a little bit more with Lorelai or enjoy Lorelai's character a little bit more. That seems to be the trend that I'm picking up here. I love Luke. Luke feels very Canadian to me. Maybe it's the flannel, but he kind of seems like one of those guys that they didn't make it into the NHL. And so now he just like owns a cafe instead and hangs around with single moms, but like a nice version of that with all of his teeth. And I would have loved Jesse when I was Rory's age, so I totally get it. I actually feel like I would have been very similar to Rory when I was younger. You know, being a young woman who likes to read and do nerdy stuff. So, welcome to the video. Let's just jump straight into this challenge. I don't know who started it. If I can find out, I will link it down below. It says, over the seven seasons of Gilmore Girls, Rory Gilmore has been seen reading 339 books. That is so many. So I think the average score, it says, is 51. That's 15%. I hope that I get more than this. I'm not sure if I will because I'm Canadian. I didn't grow up reading a lot of American lit, but I did read a lot of classics like Jane Austen and Shakespeare. So I'm hoping that Shakespeare will save my butt. So let's get started. George Orwell, 1984. No, I have not read that. Huckleberry Finn, I have not read that. Alice in Wonderland, I have read. I have never heard of um, The Amazing Adventures of Cav Valier. Cavalier and Clay before. An American Tragedy. Oh, I read Angela's Ashes. It was a very sad book. I remember it quite vividly, actually. I've read Anna Karenina. Anna Karenina, I actually listened to it for the very first time on audio. And I had a garden that summer and I would get up early and weed my garden and listen to this guy working in the field. And I just felt like I was in like some Russian novel pulling weeds. It was wonderful. Um, Anne Frank, I also read that. Archidamian War? No. The Art of Fiction? No. The Art of War. I've read The Art of War, Tina Louise. Well, I have not. That was just in the last episode that I watched. Uh, I read Atonement, Autobiography of a Face. I've never heard of. The Awakening? I have not read that. Babe? I watched the movie for that. I think there's a movie, right? Um, Balzac, Animal Chinese seamstress, backlash, the undeclared war against American women. Bel Canto has been on my TBR for a really long time. You know what, when I'm going through this, I'm actually going to make a list of my TBR. Um, I've read Bell Jar. That was a uh, kind of a depressing one. The Beloved is also on my TBR and has been for a really long time. I've read Beowulf. Uh, I have not read the Gavad Gita. Oh my God, my pronunciation is gonna be really bad in this video. The Bielski Brothers, I've never heard of. Bitch in Praise of Difficult Women. No, but I might like to read that. I like being difficult. A Bolt from the Blue and other essays. Who's that by? Mary McCarthy. That's a name I feel like I should know. Brave New World, I have not read. I actually would really like to. I watched some of the TV series from not that long ago. It was interesting in a way that I would like to read the book, but I don't know if I really wanted to continue with the TV show. Brick Lane, never heard of it. Brigadoon, never heard of it. Voltaire, Candid, no. Canterbury Tales, I have it on my shelf, but I haven't actually read it. Carrie, I have not actually read. Although I read uh, The Weight of Blood by Tiffany Jackson a few years ago, and I really enjoyed that. It's kind of like a retelling of Carrie that deals with issues around racism in the American South, and I enjoyed that a lot, actually. Highly recommend. Catch 22, no. Catcher in the Rye, no. I'm only on page one, I think, right now, and I've not read most of these kind of famous books, but I feel like I should say that I was also homeschooled, and so I didn't read a lot of just assigned books in school. I didn't go to school at all until I went to university and my mom 
had me read like a few things like Lord of the Flies and The Outsiders, I think. But I kind of got to choose my own reading for the most part, which means that I missed a lot of these kind of classics that I think that people read in normal school. I read Charlotte's Web with my mother and it made me cry. Christine Christmas Carol, yeah. Rory likes Stephen King. This is like the third, second or third Stephen King. Clockwork Orange I have not read. <laughs> Code of the Woost, Code of the Woosters. Never heard of that. The art kind of looks like Amelia Bedelia. Shakespeare, The Comedy of Errors. I have read that. Collected Stories of Eudora Welty. I don't know who she is. Don Powell, Complete Novels, no. Complete Poems of Anne Sexton, no. Dorothy Parker, Complete Stories, no. Confederacy of Dunces? No, but that sounds great. Cousin Bet, Count of Monte Cristo? No, this has been on my TBR for a super long time though. One of my best friends is like, The Count of Monte Cristo is amazing, you should read it. And I keep meaning to, but it's just so long and so big and thick that I kind of have this, ooh, do I really want to invest in that right now? But I should, that's gonna go on the TBR as well. Crimson, Petal and White, Crime and Punishment, no. I started reading Crime and Punishment once because I was like, I'm gonna read this to be smart and I realized it didn't need to feel smart that badly. Um, Cujo, I have read. The Crucible, I have not heard of before. Curious Incident of the Dog in the Night, I have heard of it. Isabel Allende, Daughter of Fortune, I have not heard of that one. David and Lisa, David Copperfield, no, no. Da Vinci Code, uh, I, I don't think that I did. I've definitely seen the movie multiple times, but I am not sure, so I'm not gonna mark it. Dead Souls, I've never even heard of that. It looks very strange. Demons, Dostoevsky, no. Death of a Salesman, no. Judy Bloom Dini, no. Devil in the White City, I read. Dirt Motley Crue, is that like the band? No. The Divine Comedy, no, but I've read parts of it. Um, Don Quixote, no. Strange Case of Jekyll and Hyde, I've read. Driving Miss Daisy on Broadway, no. I'm going to say that I've read the complete poems of Edgar Allan Poe, although I'm pretty sure that there is likely like one or two that I have not actually gotten to, but I have read the vast majority of them, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna mark it. Eleanor Roosevelt, no. Electric Kool-Aid Acid Test, no. Allo Minnow P. This is a very, actually, strange compilation of books. This is unusual. Eloise, no. Emily the Strange, I did read. I did read. I really liked Emily the Strange because it was like a little goth girl. I always wanted to be strange like that, like little goth girl. Um, Emma, I have read. Empire Falls, never heard of that. Encyclopedia Brown, no. Ethics by Aristotle, no. Ethan from Europe Through the Back Door with Rick Steves, no. But my mom, this is like such a time capsule, <laughs> kind of even of my memory as like being a child, because my mom loved Rick Steves. That was, I would have been like close to 10 whenever this came out. She loved Rick Steves so much. Okay, page three, yeah guys. Isabella Allende, Eva Luna. I'm feeling like Isabella Linde should be on my reading list. So maybe we'll put Eva Luna on there. Although I think The House of the Spirits is her more famous book. So I will put one of those on my TBR. Everything is Illuminated, no. Extravagance, no. Fahrenheit 451, pretty sure I read that when I was a teenager. Fahrenheit 911, no. Fall of the Athenian Empire, Fatland. Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas, no. Fellowship of the Ring, I read. Fiddler on the Roof, no. I don't think I realized that that was actually a book. I have heard of it as a play. Five People You Meet in Heaven, no. James Joyce Finnegan's Wake, no. Flowers for Algernon, no. Fletch, no. Fortress of Solitude, no. The Fountainhead, yes. Frankenstein, yes. Okay, we're on a roll here. Fanny and Zoe, no, I have not heard of that. Freaky Friday, no, but I would really like to read that. Like, that just seems like a very fun way to prepare for the next Freaky Friday movie, because there is another one coming out, right? I feel like that's gonna be cringe. But, okay, let me know if you would watch a vlog of me reading the original Freaky Friday and then watching Freaky Friday, comparing the two. Is that a vlog? That could be a vlog. Um, Galapagos, no. Gender Trouble by Judith Butler, no. George Bushisms, no. This is such a time capsule, Gidget, no. Girl Interrupted, I love that movie. I've not read the book. 
Gnostic Gospels, The Godfather, no and no, Goldilocks and the Three Bears, uh, yes, I did definitely read that, The God of the Small Things, no, Gone with the Wind, I would like to watch the movie, I don't think I'll read the book, Good Soldier, no, The Graduate, I love that movie so much, it's so pervy, What Kids Wish They Could Tell You, Judy Bloom, why is she reading that, should Lorelai be reading What Kids should Wish They Should Tell You, The Grapes of Wrath by Steinbeck, no, I really want to read East of Eden though, I really do. Uh, the Great Gatsby I've read. What are we doing? We're at 6%. I've read 22 and we're on page 3. Uh, Great Expectations? No. The Group? No. Hamlet I've read. Harry Potter I've read. The other Harry Potter I've read. Um, okay. Okay, I'm feeling a little better about this, but we are going on to page 4. Never heard of the Heart of Darkness. I read that. Helter Skelter. Sounds fucked up now. So the Henry plays are the only ones that I don't think that I have actually read by Shakespeare. If I had, I would have managed to check off quite a bit here though. High Fidelity, no. I think High Fidelity is a book that I've heard of quite a bit, but I don't know what it's actually about. The History of the Decline and Fall of the Roman Empire. Rory, this is so random. Holidays on Ice with a pissing Santa Claus. What? The Holy Barbarians Know House of Sand and Fog. I really like that title. But you know what? It kind of strikes me almost right away. Is like, it sounds like a court of thorns and ashes. It just shows you that Sarah J. Mass doesn't have a monopoly of the noun of adjective, adjective. Isabel Allende, The House of the Spirits. No. How to Breathe Underwater? No. How the Grinch Stole Christmas. Definitely yes. Howl. No. Victor Hugo. I have read The Hunchback of Notre Dame. It was good, but I don't mind just watching the Disney show either. That's also very acceptable. <laughs> the Iliad. No. I'm with the band. No. In Cold Blood. Inferno. So I think that I have been thinking that the comedy of errors and Inferno have been the same thing. That might make me sound a bit stupid, but Inherit the Wind, Iron Weed, It Takes a Village, Jane Eyre I've read, Julius Caesar I've read, The Joy Luck Club, I've never even heard of that, The Celebrated Jumping Frog, no, The Jungle, no. You know what I would love to see on this list is Frog and Toad because that would give me some joy. Uh, just a couple of days, The Kitchen Boy, Kitchen Confidential by Anthony Bourdain. Those are all no's. The Kite Runner is also a no. I read, I think it's called A Thousand Splendid Sons and I really liked it, but it was heartbreaking and I just don't often have the emotional capacity for my heart to be broken that often. Lady Chatterley's Lover. That was one of the first vlogs that I ever filmed. I think it's private now because it was really bad. <laughs> Gore Vidal. Vidal, The Last Empire, Leaves of Grass, The Legend of Beggar Vance, no. Brett Easton Ellis, Less Than Zero, no. I would really like to read American Psycho though. I have read Letters to a Young Poet, Lies and Lying Liars Who Tell Them. Sometimes with these books, I feel like someone just went into a thrift store and this will make Rory sound very smart and like dimensional. Uh, okay, Life of, oh, Life of Pi I read. I read that when I was traveling in India, actually. Little Dorrit, no. The Little Locksmith, no. The Little Match Girl, I have read that. That's a fairy tale. It's very short, it's like super short. It, I can't remember what even happens. Like she has a match. I think it ends with her dying, freezing on the side of the road or something like that. Or maybe she is and then somebody rec rescues her. I don't remember anymore. Anyway, <laughs> spoilers. Uh, Little Women, I've read that. I didn't love it. I feel like I'm the only person in the world who doesn't love that, but oh my god, look how young Hillary Clinton looks. There it is, Lord of the Flies. I've told you I read that. I've read The Lottery and The Lovely Bones. This is such an archive! As I'm going through this, I'm really wondering whether any of this is product placement, you know? Because I feel like if I was in publishing and I was watching the Gilmore Girls and there's this girl who likes to read a lot and there's people who kind of want to emulate Rory, that they might go and buy the books that Rory is talking about and reading. Because these are all like Lovely Bones was really popular in like 2005. Okay, Love Story. No. Macbeth, yes. Oh, you guys, I'm at 39. I'm 12% very pleased. I might at least be average. <laughs> That is a new goal. I've lowered my standards. Maybe I will be average. Uh, Madame Bovary, no, but that is on my TBR. The Manticore is on my TBR as well. I don't really know what it's about, but I'm intrigued. William Goldman, Marathon Man. The Master and the Margarita, I love 
that so much. Somewhere I have a really nice special edition of the like 70th anniversary of that book or something. I love it. Memoirs of a Dutiful Daughter, no. General W.T. Sherman memoirs, no. Menken's King Cresto. Crestomathy? Strange. The Merry Wives of Windsor? Oh, I have not heard of this one. Metamorphosis is another one that I feel like I should read just so I could sound smart, and I also know that I probably don't have the interest level to read it, so I won't. Middlesex? No. Miracle Worker? No. Moby Dick? Um, I have read Moby Dick. I read that when I was like 12. I think, like, I just liked ocean stuff, and I thought that I might want to read this book about this guy hunting a whale because that sounded interesting to me and I only remember like really long descriptions of like not very much happening and like a really long description of a harpoon or a harpoon gun and the depths of the sea. The Mojo Collection. Moliere. I don't know who that is. Someone musical maybe? A Monetary History of the United States. Monsieur Proust. Proust? Proust! I don't know. I think that's quoting something, I don't know. Um, a Month of Sundays, A Mavable Feast, Mrs. Dalloway, Mutiny on the Bounty. I haven't even heard of most of those except Mrs. Dalloway. My Life or My Life as an Author and Editor. No. My Sister's Keeper. I watched the movie, but that doesn't count. The Naked and the Dead. The Name of the Rose I finished yesterday. I actually have so much to say about this book. Um, I'm gonna save it all for my wrap up video, which I think might be coming out next week. Nervous System or Losing My Mind in Literature. I would like to know what that is though. That sounds kind of interesting. The Nanny Diaries, Emily Dickinson, no. Not read any of those. Um, Nickel and Dimed on Not Getting By in America. Uh, no. I Read Night by Ali Wiesel. A really moving piece of literature. Northanger Abbey, I have read. The Anthology of Theory and Criticism sounds like a big book that I have not read. <laughs> Notes on a Dirty Old Man. That's such a name. Is that a... <laughs> Autobiography, Mr. Bukowski. I have not read of any of these. My Sin Men, no. Old School Diary of a Wimpy Kid, no. Uh, my brother read those, though. I have not read any on these. Oh, did I read 100 Years of Solitude? I might have, but I don't remember anything about it, so I'm not counting it. I feel like if I read it, I need to remember something. I need to at least remember the experience of reading, of reading it, at least a little bit. So yeah, these are all no's. Orcs and Creek, no. I've... And Our Mutual Friend, no. The Outbreak of War, Out of Africa. The Outsiders, I mentioned I've already read. A Passage to India, this is like all no. I'm at 46 books, 14%. No idea what page this is. The Perks of Being a Wallflower. I think I just watched the movie. Peace of Nisus and the Sicilian Expedition, no. Peyton Place, no. Picture of Dory Gray, absolutely. Pigs at the Thru. Pinocchio, I have read. Please Kill Me, The Uncensored Oral History of Punk. I would be very interested to read that, actually. I like, that sounds interesting to me. TBR. The Polysyllabic Spree, no. The Portable Nietzsche, <laughs> The Price of Loyalty. The Portable Dark Dorothy Parker, no. Pride and Prejudice, I love Mr. Darcy. Pushkin, no. Property, no. Pygmalion, no. I don't even know what Pygmalion is. I just know it as one of those kind of fun words to say. Pygmalion. Quattrocento, no. Oh. Okay, this is starting page seven of nine. A Quiet Storm and Rapunzel. I don't think I've read Rapunzel. The Raven and Other Poems, yes. But didn't we already check off the completed works of Edgar Allan Poe, so this kind of feels like it might be cheating a little bit, but I'll take it. Oh look, something streaming on Disney Plus. Uh, reading Lolita and Tehran, no, Rebecca, favorite of all time. The Red Tent, I read that one, it was fine. Rebecca of Sunnybrook Farm, no. Rescuing Patty Hearst, Lord of the Rings Return of the King, of course, I read that. Obviously. R is for Ricochet, Rita Hayworth. Oh, that is no, no, no. Roberts, Rules of Order. No. Edith Wharton, Roman Fever. No. Romeo and Juliet, yes. Virginia Woolf, A Room of One's Own. Ah, uh, A Room of 
Wang Zong. Yeah, I read that really recently, right? I think that's the feminist essay thing where she's like, ah, oh, I went to Oxford and da da da. A room with a view. Wait, no, I read, I read the Virginia Woolf one. I did not read. Too many rooms on this list. Why are there so many rooms? Rosemary's Baby, no. Europe, a rough guide to Europe, no. Sacred time, no. Oh, I guess she was reading the Europe one because she was going to Europe with her grandmother, right? In season two? End of season one. Henry James, Daisy Miller, Scarecrow of Oz, no. Savage Beauty, no. Sanctuary, no. This is making me feel like I should be reading William Faulkner. The Scarlet Letter. Sea Biscuit. The Second Sex. The Secret Life of Bees. I haven't read any of these at all. Okay. Europe. No. Selected Hotels of Europe. That's a book? Is it a magazine? This is like almost pre-internet days though. <laughs> well. Um, the Letters of Don Powell, no. Sense and Sensibility, yes. I uh have. -huh. Uh, several biographies of Winston Churchill, Secret Place, no, no. Sexist, no. Shadow of the Wind, I read that one. I also enjoyed it. Uh, Shane, The Shining, no. There is a lot of Stephen King on this list. Uh, Siddhartha, no. S is for silence, no. Okay, page eight. We are at 57, okay. I win. I have, I win. Um, I'm almost at 20%. Let's see if we can hit 20%. I'm at 57. 51 was the average, as I said before. Slaughterhouse 5, no. Small Island, no. Snows of Kilimanjaro, no. Snow White and Rose Red, is that? I don't think so. Oh, that's the fairy tale series. Oh, this is by Terry Wildly. I have the Tana Lee version of it. Oh, okay. That's quite. Oh, now I want to look for the episode. Like, I want to know if she actually talks about it or not. That's so cool. Song of Names, Social Origins of Dictatorship and Democracy, no, no. Simple Truth, Song Reader, no. Song Book, no. The Sonnets, no. More Sonnets, Sophie's Choice. I remember people talking about it. More Faulkner, Nabokov. She's really into the Russian <laughs> novelists, isn't she? Stiff. I have read that it was actually quite an interesting book. It's all about like what happens to dead bodies. It covers things like the donate your body to science, that kind of stuff. I enjoyed it as a morbid person. A Streetcar Named Desire, no. Stuart Little, I read when I was a child. And Solomon's Way, no. Ernest Hemingway, no. Sybil, Swimming with Giants, A Tale of Two Cities, Tender as the Night, All Knows. Barry McMurray, Time and Again, A Time Traveler's Wife. This is where I wonder if it was product placement. Uh, I really enjoyed A Time Traveler's Wife. I remember finishing it and just sobbing like crazy. To Kill a Mockingbird was some of my required reading as a homeschooler. <laughs> Richard III, Tree Grows in Brooklyn, no. Kafka. Truth and Beauty, James Joyce Ulysses, if only they had the Dubliners. Maybe it'll come up later. The Journals of Sylvia Plath, sounds depressing. Uncle Tom's Cabin, I think I read that too, but I don't have a clear memory of it, so I'm not gonna count it. Valley of the Dolls, Carol Shields, unless, page nine. Ladies and gentlemen, Vanity Fair, mm, no? Is that the one that that movie with Ryan Felipe was based on that I can't remember the name of right now? Cruel Intentions? No. No, that's Dangerous Liaisons. Really like that movie. <laughs> Probably didn't age well, but I really like it. Vanishing Newspapers and No. Velvet Underground? No. Virgin Suicides? No. Waiting for Godot? Walden? All knows. Bambi? I did not even know that Bambi was a book. War and Peace? I have, yes, I read that one. Same summer when I was weeding my garden, I read that one mostly physically. What color is your parachute? We owe you nothing. She was very a little punk. This is like three books now that are like related to punk. I don't remember her being a little punk. So I haven't read that. Whatever happened to baby Jane? No, it looks scary as hell. When the emperor was divine? No, I can hear my husband arriving. Who moved my cheese? Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf? No, no. Wicked, I read. I remember really, really loving that, actually. Uh, the Wonderful Wizard of Oz. Emily Bronte, Wuthering Heights, of course. The Yearling, no. Joan Didion, no. Show my results. Okay, I read 64 books. That is almost 20%. So 
I would really love to know who put this list of books together because it feels so random. Like some of them makes total sense given her interest in like history and politics and being a journalist and all of that. But yeah, if you know who put that list together, I would be really interested to find out. But if you made it to this point in the video, thank you so much for watching. And I would like to hear how many books you have read out of the list. If you have taken it, I'll link it down below. And I'll see you again very soon in another video. Bye.